Besides moving around, we can also swap several elements with each other. And to do so, I'm going to add the next configuration block under the swap key. Here we are also using enable key to enable this behavior. And down here I'm going to define several mappings that will allow us to swap several elements with each other. But there is a special key called leader used in these mappings. And for that we need to define this leader key first. I have already done so. And right here is where I have defined this leader key. And so that what it will allow me to do is when pressing space and A, I'm going to be able to swap current function parameter with the next one. Then when pressing space and F, I'm going to swap the current function with the next one. And when pressing space and B, I'm going to swap current block with the next one. And down here there is another set of shortcuts. Those are similar ones to the previous ones, but they will perform a swap in an opposite direction. So for example, I need to swap the current function parameter with the previous one. And I will have to press space PA in this case. And then to be able to swap the current function with the previous one, I'm gonna have to use space PF, which stands for previous function. And finally, to be able to swap current block with the previous one, I'm gonna press space PB, which stands for previous block. So let's see how these mappings work in practice. I'm going to position my cursor on top of the first function parameter right here. And if I'll press space NA, which stands for next argument, I'm gonna swap the current argument with the next one. And to be able to swap the current function parameter with the previous one, instead of space NA, I'm gonna press space PA, which stands for previous argument. So as you can see, these swaps might come in handy sometimes. Now I'm going to add a couple more blocks at the bottom of this file. Let's create an if statement as well as for a loop. So we'll treat those as blocks. And now in order for me to swap the current block, which is this if statement with the next one, I'm going to press space and B, which stands for next block. And this way, this if statement is going to be replaced with a for loop. And sure enough, if I'm going to press space PB, which stands for previous block, I'm going to replace the current block with the previous one. And finally, let's take a look at another similar mapping, which will allow us to swap functions around. So to be able to swap the current function with the next one, I'm going to press space and F, which stands for next function. And to swap current function with the previous one, I will press space P F, which stands for previous function. And just like that, besides performing certain operations on elements in the source code and moving around, New Vim 3 Sitter text objects plugin also allows us to swap certain elements with each other.